Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. When I post this, the individual will know uh, who they are in terms of the conversation. I never reveal anything from private conversations that will give away that individual. Uh, whatever is in private stays in private. This is not my place to, to make anything public. Now, in terms of certain aspects of conversations, they're very re revel rel mm. relevant. <laughs> Sometimes words just don't come out. They're very relevant to public discourse and they're very important. So that's why I'm doing this. Often when you have discussions with individuals, especially if they're non-Muslim and they're asking about Islam, there's always this passive aggressive type jab that happens when in the conversations. And uh, sometimes maybe they don't realize they're doing it. A lot of times you can tell when it's deliberate. But either way, it becomes this issue because you, you feel that you're getting somewhere in a conversation and then it gets derailed by this little passive aggressive, you know, side comment. Now, when I get to this point, uh, I have patience for a while, but when I get to a certain point, I say, okay, enough's enough. What is your purpose of having this conversation? Why are we discussing these topics? What is your intention? Do you want to learn Islam? And the answer was yes. And I said, okay, well then why? Why do you want to learn Islam? Because I'm not getting the sense that this individual is really interested in Islam. And sometimes you've got to ask these up front. Sometimes you've got to feel it out and you could figure it out. And I had this sense anyway. But, uh, but the nice thing is that this person is being civil to, for the most part. And when I asked them the question, they said, the reason I want to learn Islam is so that I can better understand ISIS and the Taliban. <laughs> and there it is, right? That, that's the, from a Muslim perspective, we're going, subhanAllah, like, this is what you think, right? And this is a dead giveaway as in terms of where people are getting their education from, where they're being informed. Individuals are constantly being told the wrong things. My response to this question is that, well, then you don't want to study religion. You want to study politics, okay? Because this idea that Islam is a political movement is 100% false. Islam is a complete system of life that covers everything in your life from birth until death and after death, okay? Now, to isolate Islam to a topic like oppression of women or to politics or to jihad is a sign that the individual you're dealing with, they lack critical thinking and you're going to be stuck in very black and white conversations. Now, I'm not saying that about this particular individual. They seem to, when I, when I challenge them on certain things, they seem to back away and they seem to want to discuss things honestly. And that's great. But in general, these are kind of warning signs when you're discussing Islam with individuals and, how, and when you know, okay, now the conversation is no longer fruitful, now we need to stop. And I have no problem censoring people. I have no problem deleting and blocking people. And I make it clear that when I get to that point, and you can call it what you will, I lose no sleep over it. When a conversation is no longer fruitful, I will call it quits because I do learn from these conversations. I learn how people think. I learn how people behave. Sometimes they bring up topics and, and information that I had never heard before. So I always get something out of it. But if I feel that they're not progressing, that they're not gaining from the conversation anymore, I'll put a stop to it. If they, if they want to be stubborn and continue, then they can continue, but they're going to have to do it with someone else. So like I said, I found it very interesting. The motivation behind somebody for learning Islam is not to learn Islam, but to understand terrorism. You will never, ever understand terrorism if you study Islam. Allah keep everybody safe. I pray that we seek good information, solid information that benefits us in this life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. They're very rel 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 mm -hmm. 